गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन इफ आम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल प्लीज सेंड योर थम्स अप इन द चैट बॉक्स गुड इवनिंग अभिषेक अवी मीना ओके गाय सो लेट स्टार्ट दीज हंड्रेड वन लाइनर्स आर बेस्ड ऑन लास्ट टेन इयर्स पेपर्स ऑफ एम्स एज वेल एज आई एन आई सी टी एंड लास्ट फाइव इयर्स पेपर्स ऑफ नीट पी जी क्लियर ओके गाइज ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ यू टेल मी बेसल टाइप ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर बेसल टाइप ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ट्रिपल नेगेटिव ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सो टेल मी विच मार्कर्स आर नेगेटिव हियर आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर रिप्लाई बेसल टाइप ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर इट इज नेगेटिव फॉर विच मार्कर्स विच मार्कर्स आर नेगेटिव भार्गवी वेरी गुड ट्रिपल नेगेटिव वॉट आर द मार्कर्स विच आर नेगेटिव टेल मी ये सैम ऑल नेगेटिव वेरी गुड सो नुकीला सुष्मिता फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई करेक्टली ई आर पी आर हर्टिन्यू ऑल थ्री आर नेगेटिव सो हि वॉट ई आर ईस्ट्रोजन रिसेप्टर प्रोजेस्टिरॉन रिसेप्टर एज वेल एज हर्टुन्यू ईस्ट्रोजन रिसेप्टर प्रोजेस्टिरॉन रिसेप्टर हर्टुन्यू ऑल दीज थ्री आर नेगेटिव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टेल मी गाइज प्यू डी ऑरेंज इज ड्यू टू इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ इट स्ट्रक्चर प्यू डी ऑरेंज इज ड्यू टू इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ इट स्ट्रक्चर प्रियंका सोनी डॉक्टर एस जी कंपाइलो बैक्टर मुरली कनन ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट कंपाइलो बैक्टर फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई सब डर्मल इम्फैटिक प्रियंका सोनी भार्गवी जीतेन यादव जीतेन यादव मोहम्मद डॉक्टर शुभम गुप्ता अपर्णा केशरी टोनी रिजू मुर शुभम अवी मीना ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट सो प्यू डी ऑरेंज इट इज ड्यू टू इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ सब डर्मल लिम्फैटिक्स दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ सब डर्मल लिम्फैटिक्स एंड यू नो देर इज लिम्फैटिक परमिएशन बाई ट्यूमर सेल्स सो देर इज लिम्फैटिक ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन बाई ट्यूमर सेल्स क्लियर सो इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ सब डर्मल लिम्फैटिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन साइट ऑफ कार्सिनोमा ब्रेस्ट एंड कार्सिनोमा प्रोस्टेट टेल मी गाइज अभिषेक अंकुर नीरू सोनी मोस्ट कॉमन साइट ऑफ मेटास्टेसिस इन सी ए ब्रेस्ट एंड सी ए प्रोस्टेट भार्गवी फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई अपर्णा जीतेन टोनी जीतू मीना डॉक्टर बीटू ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट गाइज सो इट इज बोन एंड यू नो इन बोन विच वटिब्रा ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट इट इज लंबर वटिब्रा इन बोन इट इज विच वटिब्रा दिस इज लंबर वटिब्रा इन बोन इट इज लंबर वटिब्रा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मोस्ट कॉमन ऑर्गेनिजम रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रेस्ट एप्सिस इजिएस्ट क्वेश्चन टेल मी गाइज प्रिया हरी डॉक्टर एस डी ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट मोस्ट कॉमन ऑर्गेनिजम रिस्पॉन्सिबल सैम जीतेन यादव फर्स्ट पर्सन जीतेन यादव फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई वेरी गुड येस इट इज स्टैफ ऑरियस सो मोस्ट कॉमन ऑर्गेनिजम रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रेस्ट एप्सिस दिस इज स्टैफ ऑरियस इट इज स्टेफाइलोकोकस ऑरियस सो दिस इज स्टैफ ऑरियस नेक्स्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस फॉर सिस्टो सार्कोमा फिलोट्स येस मोहम्मद मोस्तीफुजूर रहमान डॉक्टर रिफार्मर कैम्पाइलो बैक्टर डॉक्टर शेलबाय अभिषेक कुनो अंकुर अंकुर वृशाली हरी ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस फॉर सिस्टो सार्कोमा फिलोट्स दैट इज सिंपल मेस्टेक टू मी सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज सिंपल इट इज सिंपल मेस्टेक टू मी क्लियर गाइज सिंपल मेस्टेक टू मी नेक्स्ट टेल मी दिस वॉज लेटेस्ट आस्ट इन एग्जाम इट वॉज आस्ट इन लेटेस्ट एग्जाम ड्रग यूज इन ग्वाइटर टू रिड्यूस ब्लीडिंग बिफोर थायरोडिक टू मी लेट मी सी हू इज गोइंग टू रिप्लाई ड्रग यूज इन ग्वाइटर पेशेंट टू रिड्यूस ब्लीडिंग बिफोर थायरोडिक टू मी येस उमा यशस्वी वृशाली इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन डॉक्टर रिफॉर्मर वेरी गुड वीरेंदर यादव अभिषेक अंकुर भार्गवी शुभम गुप्ता येस वेरी गुड मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट हियर इट इज ल्यूगॉल्स आयोडीन इट इज ल्यूगॉल्स आयोडीन दिस इज ल्यूगॉल्स दिस इज ल्यूगॉल्स आयोडीन क्लियर गाइज मोस्ट कॉमन लोकेशन ऑफ थाइरोग्लॉसल सिस्ट इजिएस्ट क्वेश्चन शुभम ऋषभ येस फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई मुशाहिद खान अभिषेक अंकुर डॉक्टर रिफार्मर Bhargavi yes very good all of you are correct most common location of thyroglossal cyst that is subhyoid very good guys it is subhyoid 
This is subhyoid. Next question, if a patient is having retrosternal goiter, tell me what kind of incision is given for thyroidectomy? For retrosternal goiter, incision given for thyroidectomy. Tony Ant, very good. Nukila Sushmita, Jiten Yadav, Mushahid Khan, Shubham, Priyanka Soni, Vishal Roy, all of you are correct guys. It is not thoracic or mediastinal. This is cervical incision. So what kind of incision is given? This is cervical incision. For retrosternal goiter, we give cervical incision. This is cervical incision. Next question. Tell me autoantibody in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Autoantibody. First person to reply, Priya, Compilobacter, Mushahid Khan, Dr. Shelby, Shubham Panteja, Jiten, all of you are correct. Antibody in Hashimoto's thyroiditis, that is anti-TPO. Guys, you are correct. This is anti-thyroid peroxidase. So, this is anti-TPO. Next question, easiest question. Orphan any eye nuclei are seen in which malignancy? Shubham Gupta, first person to reply. Compilobacter, Nukila Sushmita, Tony Ant, Shelby. Very good, guys. Reformer, all of you are correct, guys. All of you, what? It is papillary carcinoma. So, this is what? This is papillary carcinoma. This is papillary carcinoma thyroid. Next question, tell me. Very, very important question. Here, majority of you are doing mistake. Most commonly injured nerve during thyroidectomy. Let me see how many of you are going to reply. Most commonly injured nerve, Bhargavi, Shubham, Panteja, Jiten, Virendar Yadav, all of you are correct guys, majority of you. It is not recurrent laryngeal nerve. It is external branch of superior laryngeal nerve. So, most commonly injured nerve, this is external branch. This is external branch of superior laryngeal nerve. External branch of superior laryngeal nerve. Next question, intraoperative thyrotoxic crisis is caused by, it is the famous question of INICT, asked more than five times. Tell me, waiting for your reply, Jitu, Nukila, Shubham Gupta, intraoperative thyrotoxic crisis, it is caused by, first person to reply, Uma Ponkundran, Uma Ponkundran, yes, Tony and Shubham Gupta, Dr. Reformer, majority of you are correct, what, intraoperative thyrotoxic crisis, it is caused by inadequate preoperative preparation, this is inadequate preoperative preparation. Guys, it is inadequate pre-operative preparation. Pre-operative preparation. Next question, a famous question that which thyroid malignancy is not diagnosed by FNSE? Which thyroid malignancy is not diagnosed? Avi Meena, Shelby, Priya, Niru, Dr. Reformer, all of you are correct guys. Majority of you are correct. Yes, thyroid malignancy not diagnosed by FNSE, that is follicular carcinoma. So, this is what? This is follicular. This is follicular carcinoma which is not diagnosed by FNSE. It is diagnosed by biopsy. Next question, tell me guys, what is the most common cause of primary hyperparathyroidism? Yes, waiting for your reply. Mushahid Khan, Abhishek Ankur, Uma, SVK. Most common cause of primary hyperparathyroidism. Easy question. Yes, Shubham, Mushahid, Bhargavi, all of you are correct guys, most common cause, it is yes, solitary adenoma, so this is parathyroid adenoma and in 80% cases, it is solitary adenoma. Now, another question, famous question asked in INICT, most accurate modality for localization of parathyroid adenoma, tell me guys, most accurate, yes, Dr. Shelby, Reformer, Hari, Niru Soni, Salmonella, all of you are correct, this is Sista Mibi scan. This one is Sista Mibi scan. This is Sista Mibi scan. This is the most accurate modality for localization of parathyroid adenoma. Now, you tell me what is the best test for diagnosis of pheochromocytoma? Best test for diagnosis. Tell me, guys. Best test. No, no, it is not investigation of choice. Best test. Bhargavi, you are correct. You are correct. It is plasma metanephrins. So, best test for diagnosis of pheochromocytoma, that is what? Plasma metanephrins. This is plasma metanephrins. So, this is plasma metanephrins. Okay. Next question. What is the most common site of metastasis in older children having neuroblastoma? 
Yes, it is fractionated plasma metanephrines, correct? Yes. Ankit Gujar, very good. Some student is asking, is it relevant for BAMS? It is not, I mean, I do, we don't have idea about BAMS, but if syllabus is same, you might be benefited. But this is for INI, CT students and NEET PG student, FMG students, okay? So what? Long bones, most common site of metastasis in older children having neuroblastoma, it is long bones long bones now you tell me guys most common functional pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor in men one multiple endocrine neoplasia one most common yes uma punkundran uma correct yes very good salmonella compilobacter ankit gujar very good sherin all of you are correct guys it is gastrinoma followed by insulinoma so most common functional pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor in men one it is gastrinoma. This is gastrinoma followed by insulinoma. Gastrinoma followed by insulinoma. Clear? Next question. Diagnosis of amoebic liver abscess is confirmed by. Tell me guys. Amoebic liver abscess diagnosis. <coughs> Shipra, correct. Mittu Kumar, correct. Diagnosis of amoebic liver abscess. Ankit Gujar, you are correct. Ankit Gujar is correct. Let me see. Next person. Next person is Sherin. Jitu Meena. Yes. Majority of you are correct. See, aspiration. Aspiration and culture, it is done in pyogenic liver abscess. In amoebic liver abscess, it is serology. So, here there is formation of antibodies and we are going to diagnose it by serology. Clear? So, diagnosis of amoebic liver abscess confirmed by serology. Next question. Most preferred modali modality for anatomically and surgically appropriate hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst is there. Anatomically and surgically appropriate guys. Tell me. Tell me guys. Yes. It is pair. Aparna, Keshari, Scampylobacter, Salmonella, Ankit Gujar, Pawan Kumar, Bhargavi, Virendra Yadav, Deepak Shahu, Vrushalu, Neha, Malaria, all of you are correct guys. It is pair. Puncture, aspiration of content, installation of scolicidal agent and re-aspiration. Now another easy question, most common malignancy of liver, tell me. Ankur, Sudipta Roy, reformer, very good reformer. Most common malignancy of liver, tell me guys. Yes, it is not HCC, that is primary malignancy. Yes, very good Shubham, very good. Pavan Kumar, inspiring doctor, Neha Malharia, reformer, Neha Diwan. Yes, majority of you are correct. It is metastasis. Guys, it is metastasis. And most common, primary malignancy of liver, that is HCC. Primary malignancy is HCC, but most common ma malignancy of liver, it is metastasis or secondaries. Another question, tell me guys. Yes, benign liver tumor with central steelhead scar. Benign liver tumor with central steelhead scar and spoke like or spoke wheel appearance. Central steelhead scar and spoke wheel appearance. Ankita, Vishal, Aparna, Mushahid, Salmonella, everybody is correct. There is central steelhead scar, spoke wheel or cart wheel appearance and the tumor is FNH. It is FNH, full form. This is focal nodular hyperplasia, focal nodular hyperplasia. Another question, guys, tell me. Yes, Mushahid, you are already correct. Liver tumor with raised neurotensin and B12 binding globulin. Raised neurotensin and B12 binding globulin. Tell me, guys, which one? Yes, Ankit, Divesh Sharma. Yes, Sherin, all of you are correct. Very good. Majority is correct. Very good, guys. This is what? Fibrolamular variant of HCC. This is what? Fibrolamular variant. This is fibro lamellar variant of HCC. Fibro lamellar variant of HCC. Clear? Next, investigation of choice for diagnosis of hepatoblastoma. All of you know that for most of liver tumor and kidney tumors, investigation of choice is CCT. But for hepatoblastoma, tell me guys, what is the investigation of choice? No, no, no. Ank Avantika, Raina, Rajat Kumar, it is not CCT. It is hepatoblastoma, not HCC. Let me see who is intelligent person. First person, Jiten Yadav. Jiten Yadav, first. Ankit Gujar, second. These are the two guys who replied correctly till now. 
इंस्पायरिंग डॉक थर्ड नुकीला सुष्मिता यस दिवेश नाउ मेजॉरिटी ऑफ योर मार्किंग करेक्ट एंसर फॉर हिपैटोब्लास्टोमा इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर डायग्नोसिस इट इज बायोप्सी एंड रेडियोलॉजिकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस सी सी टी सो हियर इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर डायग्नोसिस इट इज बायोप्सी दिस इज बायोप्सी गाइज नेक्स्ट लिवर सेगमेंट स्पेयर्ड इन बर्चियरी सिंड्रोम कॉज्ड बाई हिपैटिक वेन थ्रोम्बोसिस द सेगमेंट विच इज हैविंग डायरेक्ट वीनस ट्रेनिस टू आई वी सी आई वी सी टेल मी विशाल रॉय अंकित गुज्जर कंपाइलो बैक्टर जीतेन जीतू येस द सेगमेंट ऑफ लिवर विच इज हैविंग डायरेक्ट वीनस ट्रेनिस टू आई वी सी एंड गाइज यू नो दैट इट इज कॉर्डेट लोब विथ सेगमेंट सेगमेंट वन सो करेक्ट एंसर इट इज कॉर्डेट लोब वॉट्स द नेम दिस इज कॉर्डेट लोब कॉर्डेट लोब ऑल्सो नोन एज सेगमेंट वन सो दिस इज कॉर्डेट लोब और सेगमेंट वन क्लियर गाइज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्रिएटिन इन बिलरुबिन आई एन आर आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ विच स्कोर निमोनिक इज सी बी आई यू कैन सी सी बी आई क्रिएटिन इन बिलरुबिन आई एन आर दीज आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ विच स्कोर फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई अंकित गुज्जर मुजाहिद खान कनुप्रिया वेरी गुड अतुल राज वृशाली ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट गाइज इट इज मेल्ड स्कोर दिस इज वॉट मेल्ड स्कोर and you know what is the full form of mild score this is model for end stage liver disease full form model for end stage liver disease cbi second is pelt score pediatric end stage liver disease and the components are nutrition age bilirubin inr ascites clear so that is pelt score this is mild score next question tell me guys most common complication of insertion of sengstrick and blackmore tube insertion of sengstrick and blackmore tube deepak sahu first person to reply very good deepak sahu mustafur rahman shipra neha diwan yes majority of you are correct what happens it is aspiration <coughs> it is aspiration guys majority of you are correct this is aspiration next question most common complication of tips transjugular intrahepatic porto systemic shunt most common complication let me see who is the first person to reply correctly correctly ankit gujjar jiten yadav ashim yes deepak sahu shivani patel bhomik yes majority of you are marking correct answer here most common complication of tips this is encephalopathy most common complication of tips that is encephalopathy so this is encephalopathy clear another question it was asked in aims as well as in inict preferred vein for insertion of peritoneo venous shunt preferred vein for insertion of peritoneo venous shunt yes tell me aparna keshri first person to reply correctly very good aparna aparna very good R ankit gujjar yes jitu meena very good inspiring doc mustafizu rahman priyush piyusha shrivastav sherin all of you are correct guys it is right internal jugular vein preferred vein it is right this is right internal jugular vein another question tell me most common cause of pre sinusoidal intrahepatic portal hypertension pre sinusoidal intrahepatic portal hypertension Yes, Uma. It is not biliary atresia. Deepak Sahu, you are correct. Ankit Gujjar, correct. Deepak Sahu, correct. Jiten Yadav, correct. Most common cause of pre-sinusoidal intrahepatic portal hypertension, and you know, guys, this is frequently asked question in medicine also. Cystosomiasis. This is what. This is cystosomiasis. This is cystosomiasis. Clear? Cystosomiasis. Next. tell me what is the composition of cholesterol gallstone this was asked in neat pg composition of cholesterol gallstone cholesterol gallstones are composed of waiting for your reply let me see who is going to reply correctly who is going to reply correctly let me see <coughs> ankit gujjar jiten yadav deepak sahu aparna keshri so cholesterol gallstones are composed of crystalline cholesterol monohydrate it is composed of crystalline crystalline cholesterol monohydrate crystalline cholesterol monohydrate this is 
monohydrate. Now tell me guys, what is the most common type of gallstone worldwide? Most common type of gallstone worldwide. Subham Gupta, first person to reply. Shubham Gupta, most common type of gallstone. Salmonella, Vishal Roy, Dushyant, Uma, Abhishek, Neha Divan, Aparna Keshri, majority of you are correct. It is mixed. If mixed is not given in the option, then you marked what? Cholesterol. If mixed is not given in the option, we have to mark cholesterol. So, it is mixed. If not given in the option, mark the cholesterol. Next question. What is the gold standard investigation for diagnosis of acute cholecystitis? First person to reply. Many of you replied Dr. Reformer, Mohammed Farman, Priya Salmonila, Abhishek Kumar. First, it is gold standard investigation for diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. It is HEDA scan. HEDA scan. And guys, tell me what is the full form of HEDA scan? Full form. Full form of HEDA scan that is hepatobiliary immunodiacetic acid scan. Hepatobiliary immunodiacetic acid scan. And what is the diagnostic criteria? It is non visualization of gallbladder. Non visualization of gallbladder on HEDA scan. This is diagnostic. Next question tell me what is the most common site of fistula in gallstone ileus? Most common site of fistula in gallstone ileus. Tell me, guys. Yes. Waiting for your reply. Most common site of fistula in gallstone ileus. Yes, very good. Majority of you are correct. Avimina, Sherin, it is cholecystoduodenal between gallbladder and duodenum. So, fistula name, it is cholecysto. This is cholecystoduodenal. This is cholecystoduodenal between gallbladder and duodenum. Next question. Diamond ring sign and comet tail artifacts, these are seen in which condition? Yes. Comet tail artifacts, diamond ring sign, it is seen in which condition? Tell me guys. Yes. First person, Kampailobacter, Jitin Yadav, Deepak Shahu, Ankit Gujar, Vishal Raj. Very good. It is seen in adenomyometosis. This is seen in Adeno myometosis. Another question, what is maximum absorptive capacity? So, maximum absorptive capacity per unit surface area, it is seen in which organ? Jejunum, very good. Some of you are marking jejunum and some of you are marking gallbladder. Tell me guys which one is correct? Maximum absorptive capacity, it is seen in jejunum, but maximum absorptive capacity per unit surface area, that is gallbladder. So, salmonella, yes, salmonella, anu, AT, SSV, all of you are correct, Neha Divan, Jiten Yadav, all of you are correct, guys, it is not the jejunum, it is gallbladder. And when it is asked maximum absorptive capacity, then it is jejunum. Then it is jejunum. Next question, tell me what is the most common type of cholidocal cyst? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Most common type of cholidocal cyst. Tell me which type? Rushali, tell me most common type of cholidocal cyst. Yes, type 5, type 3, type 1, type 1, type 1, type 1. Yes, Uma, Sudipta, Piusha. Let me tell you simple principle. In majority of classifications, if classification starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, most common type is 1. So, cholidocal cyst type 1, hiatus hernia type 1, gastric ulcer type 1, fistula in ano type 1, posterior urethral valve type 1. So, in majority of cases type 1 and if classification starts from A, B, C, D, E, most common type type A. So, remember this principle, if it starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, type 1 is most common in majority of cases, A, B, C, D, E, type A. So, obviously, it is type 1. Which one? Type 1. Next question, maximum size of CBD stone removed by ERCP. Guys, tell me, maximum size of CBD stone removed by ERCP, Mohammed Farman, Ashwini, Shalini, Shubhash, Dr. Kasa, Deepak Sahu, yes, yes. First person to reply is Anu, Jiten Yadav. It is 1.5 centimeter, guys. 2 centimeter, that is for ESWL. If kidney stone is there, maximum size of stone removed by ESWL. In kidney stone, 2 centimeter. And by ERCP, you have to remember, this is 1.5 centimeter. So, maximum size of stone removed by ERCP, that is 1.5 centimeter. Rushali, you are correct. Next, this was asked in latest exam. In INICT, charcoal stride is 
Reynolds pentard is charcoal stride plus. What are the components? Reynolds pentard, charcoal stride plus. First person to reply Vishal Roy, Uma, Salmonella, Thakur, Shruti, Divesh, Dushyant Patel. Very good. So what? It is shock plus mental status changes. So Reynolds pentard, charcoal stride plus shock plus mental status changes or mental alteration. This is mental status changes or mental alteration. Clear guys? Next, according to Bismuth classification, Hyler structure with intact confluence. Which one? Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5. Which one? Bismuth classification, Hyler structure with intact confluence. Yes, which one? Ankit Gujar, very good. Eva Bredin, Sherin, Shubham Gupta, Piyusha Srivastav, Sushmita Thakur, Devesh, Dr. Joy, Devesh Sharma. Majority of you are correct, guys. It is type 3. This is type 3. Hyler structure with intact confluence, type 3. Hyler structure with destroyed confluence, that is type 4. Next, prune tree appearance on cholangiography is seen in. Next question, Priya, tell me. Prune tree appearance on cholangiography it is seen in. Tell me guys, frequently asked question. Yes, Abhishek Ankur, Vishal Roy. Yes, Anu, Uma, Sushmita, Neha, Manjari, Deepak, Amit Kumar, Sherin, majority of your correct guys, this is primary sclerosing cholangitis. So this is what? Primary sclerosing cholangitis. Next, there is only one condition in which pruritus precedes jaundice. Tell me in which condition? Pruritus precedes jaundice in which condition? Yes, Divesh, it is not primary sclerosing cholangitis. No, no. Sultan, you partially correct. Ankit Gujar, Jiten Yadav, very good. Uma, Dhananjay, Anu, Iva, Bridin, very good. Majority of you are correct. This is primary biliary cirrhosis. This is primary biliary cirrhosis. Pruritus precedes jaundice in primary biliary cirrhosis. Next, tell me, Hyler cholangiocarcinoma is known as. What is the other name of Hyler cholangiocarcinoma? Ashwini, Upari, Mithu Kumar, Yesashvi, Priya, first person Aparna Keshri, Jiten Yadav, Deepak Shahu. Yes, majority of you are correct, guys. It is what? Clad skin tumor. So, Hyler cholangiocarcinoma, this is known as what? This is known as clad skin tumor. What is the name? This is clad skin tumor. This is clad skin tumor. Okay? Next, tell me, what is the most common congenital anomaly of pancreas? Most common congenital anomaly of pancreas. Tell me, guys. Mithu, Ashwini, Priya, Doctor and Caffeine, Dhananjay Sharma, Nature with Medicos, Abhishek Ankur. Yes, it is pancreas division. Very good. Doctor, yes, Anhita, Doctor, Devesh, Shivani Patel, Sultan, majority of you correct. Yes, this is pancreas division in which there is divided drainage. So, this is pancreas division. This is pancreas divism. Next question, guys. Tell me the treatment of choice for annular pancreas in which there is ring or annulus of ventral pancreas around second part of duodenum. Annular pancreas, treatment of choice. I'm waiting for your reply. Tell me. Yes, Navneet Singh, SK, Anu, Sherin, Dushant Patel. Very good, guys. Majority of you are correct. Yes, Shipra. Very good. It is duodeno duodenostomy. This is duodeno duodenostomy. This is duodeno duodenostomy. And you know that this is duodeno duodenostomy. This is also treatment of choice in duodenal atresia. And in superior mesenteric artery syndrome, what is the treatment of choice? That is duodeno jejunostomy. Next question. What is the most common cause of death in acute pancreatitis within two weeks? Within two weeks of hospitalization. Waiting for your reply, guys. Within two weeks of hospitalization, most common cause of death. Jiten Yadav, first person to reply correctly. Jiten, very good. Jiten. All India 80. All India 80, second person to reply. Yes. See, majority of your marking sepsis. Sepsis occurs after two weeks. Within two weeks, it is multi-organ dysfunction syndrome. Guys, you have to remember this. 
it is multi organ dysfunction syndrome so within 2 weeks it is multi organ dysfunction syndrome after 2 weeks it is sepsis next question what is the investigation of choice for diagnosis of acute pancreatitis tell me waiting for your reply acute pancreatitis investigation of choice yes waiting for your reply Dushant, no. Dr. RJ, first person. Dr. Ankit Gujjar, second. Shubham, doctor. Shivani Patel, majority of you are correct. The investigation of choice for diagnosis, it is CCT. Guys, it is CCT. Next, in Bishop's score, blood urea nitrogen level should be how much? Blood urea nitrogen level should be how much? In Bishop's score. Tell me guys the value, blood urea nitrogen elevation, kitna hona how much? Vishal Roy, Jitin Yadav, Ankit Gujjar, Shubham Gupta, majority of you are correct, Dr. Joy, Sherin, yes, more than 25 milligram per deciliter. It should be more than 25 milligram per deciliter. Next, in systemic inflammatory response syndrome, heart rate should be more than, heart rate, Ashwini, very good. Tell me heart rate, what should be the value of heart rate in SIRS, systemic inflammatory Praveen Khetan, Ankit, All India 80, Dr. Joy, all of you are correct, shall buy, it should be more than 90 per minute. How much? It should be more than 90 per minute. Next, Q so far, every year this question is asked nowadays. Quick sequential organ failure assessment in Q so far, respiratory rate should be how much? Q so far, respiratory rate should be, yes, very good, Vishal, Roy, Avantika, Anu, Sherin, majority of you are correct, what, more than equal to 22 per minute, this is more than equal to 22 per minute, next question guys tell me, gold standard investigation for chronic pancreatitis which is both diagnostic and therapeutic, Manjari, Divesh, Dhananjay, all of you are correct, Gold standard investigation for chronic pancreatitis. First person, Ankit Sultan, Reformer, RJ, Paracetamol, Shitej, Huma, Piyu, Srivastav, all of you are correct guys. It is ERCP for chronic pancreatitis investigation which is both diagnostic and therapeutic. This is ERCP and ERCP is gold standard. Very good. Next, tell me central sunburst calcification on CCT is seen in? Central sunburst calcification, guys waiting for your reply, central sunburst calcification, which tumor in pancreas? Ankit Gujjar, very good, Salmonella, no, it's not hydrated cyst guys, no, yes, Ankit Gujjar, very good, Campylobacter, very good, only two people till now, Ankit Gujjar, Campylobacter, only two people till now, yes, N Nikhil, third person to reply, Dr. Reformer, Nature with Medicos, yes, Avantika, Raina, Jiten Yadav, now majority of you marked wrongly, yes, central sunburst calcification, it is seen in serous cystic neoplasm, also known as serous cyst adenoma, serous cystic neoplasm, also known as serous cyst adenoma, so it is seen in serous cyst adenoma serous cyst adenoma. Next question, both amylase and CEA are raised in which type of cystic neoplasm? Both amylase and CEA are raised, yes, Mushahid Khan, Mushahid Khan, Ankit Gujjar, very good, Jiten Yadav, yes, it is IPMN, intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm, this is IPMN, intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm in which both amylase and CEA are raised. Next question, what is the most common gene mutated in carcinoma pancreas? Tell me guys. Yes, Salmonella, first person to reply, Vishal Roy, Sherin, Ankit Gujjar, very good, Dr. RJ, R. Rajiv Kumar, Everybody is correct. Most common gene mutation in carcinoma pancreas, that is KRAS. This is KRAS followed by P16. KRAS followed by P16. Next question, again asked many times in INICT, waxing and waning of jaundice with Malina is seen in. Waxing and waning of jaundice, Mushahid, very good. Waxing and waning of jaundice with Malina. Yes, it is 
एक्जैक्टली एम्पुलरी कार्सिनोमा वेरी गुड आर जे विशाल सालमोनिला अभिषेक क्षितिज पचौरी डॉक्टर जॉय इट इज एम्पुलरी कार्सिनोमा सो दिस इज इन एम्पुलरी कार्सिनोमा अराइजिंग फ्रॉम एम्पुला क्लियर नेक्स्ट टेल मी गाइज मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ पैनक्रिएटिको ड्यूडिनेक्टोमी We perform pancreatic duodenectomy. What is the most common complication? Tell me. Waiting for your reply. Most common complication in pancreatic duodenectomy. Tell me, guys. Yes, Ankit Gujjar, very good. Ankit Gujjar, okay. Ankit Gujjar, very good. Paracetamol, Sultan. Yes, it is delayed gastric emptying, guys. This is asked frequently. This is delayed gastric emptying. delayed gastric emptying so this is delayed gastric emptying clear next you tell me gold standard investigation for diagnosis of insulinoma gold standard investigation for diagnosis of insulinoma tell me guys gold standard investigation for diagnosis of insulinoma yes very good vishal roy deepak sahu vishal roy deepak sahu yes Reformer Dushyant Patel, Aparna Kesri, majority of you, you are correct. It is seventy-two hours fasting. So gold standard investigation that is seventy-two hours fasting. This is fasting in controlled setup. Fasting in controlled setup. Next question. This was asked both in NEET PG and INICT. Most common site of gastrinoma. Most common site of gastrinoma. Tell me, guys. Most common site. Yes. first person to reply navneet singh compilobacter dr r j avantika rana salmonella actually it is duodenum followed by pancreas it is what it is duodenum guys it is duodenum followed by pancreas and you tell me in duodenum which part the most common site it is first part of duodenum which part it is first part in duodenum it is first part followed by second part followed by third part so it is duodenum another very easy question most common side, symptom of glucagonoma tell me most common symptom of glucagonoma uma joy vrushali tell me glucagonoma most common symptom yes very good salmonella jiten yadav yes jiten yadav paracetamol very good it is what it is nem full form necrolytic erythema migrans what is the full form this is necrolytic this is necrolytic erythema migrans necrolytic erythema migrans so this is migratory rash this is migratory rash known as necrolytic erythema migrans next question location of defect in bockdalek hernia it was asked in inict where is the defect in bockdalek hernia किशोर कुमार हुमा तबस्सुम ईशान मुशाहिद खान अभिषेक अंकुर टेल मी लोकेशन ऑफ डिफेक्ट इन बॉक डायलेक्ट हर्निया यस वेरी गुड गाइस इट इज पोस्टीरोलैटरल एंड इफ इट इज मोरगैग्नी हर्निया इट इज एंटीरोमीडियल सो हियर इट इज पोस्टीरोलैटरल वेयर एग्जैक्टली लेफ्ट पोस्टीरोलैटरल सो दिस इज लेफ्ट पोस्टीरोलैटरल clear guys next investigation of choice for diagnosis of gerd gastroesophageal reflux disease gerd tell me waiting for your reply investigation of choice for diagnosis of gerd first person vishal bhargavi shruti deepak sultan paracetamol asim mushtaq sushmita all of you are correct guys it is 24 hours ph monitoring so this is 24 hours ambulatory ph monitoring 24 hours ambulatory ph monitoring so this is 24 hours ambulatory ph monitoring clear next bird beak appearance all of you know the answer pencil tip appearance on barium swallow bird beak pencil tip appearance on barium swallow gagan karna very good gagan yes anu vrushali uma bhargavi sherin ketki vichare Vishal, all of you are correct, guys. This is achalasia cardia. So this one is seen in achalasia cardia. Achalasia cardia. Next, corkscrew 
are rosary bead appearance on barium swallow. Corkscrew are rosary bead appearance on barium swallow. Bhargavi, very good. Vishal, Shelby, Shitiz, Salmonella, Aparna, Sherin, Gagan, all of you are correct. This is diffuse esophageal spasm. This is diffuse esophageal spasm. Okay, guys. Now tell me, what is the most common symptom of Zenker's diverticulum? Let's see who is going to reply. Yes, Dr. E. Farmer, Shipra, Vishal, Ankit Gujar, Priya. Majority of you are correct. In Zenker's diverticulum, what happens? There is compression of esophagus by diverticulum. So there is dysphagia. Most common symptom, this is dysphagia. Next, what is the only true diverticulum in esophagus? You know that most of the diverticulum in esophagus are false. Only true diverticulum in esophagus. Which one? Mushahid, Shivani Patel, Uma. Very good. It is mid-esophageal, also known as traction, also known as parabronchial diverticulum. So this is mid-esophageal. Also known as traction diverticulum. Also known as parabronchial. Traction, also known as parabronchial. So parabronchial. Clear? Only diverticulum, which is true. Next, best conduit after esophagectomy for carcinoma esophagus. If you perform esophagectomy, what is the best conduit? Best conduit. Yes, Vishal, Uma. Deepak Sahu, Bhargavi, Dushyant Patel, all of you are correct guys, best conduit, it is stomach. So when we perform esophagectomy, the best conduit, that is stomach. This is stomach. Macular stride, it is positive in which condition? Tell me guys, macular stride, it is positive in which condition? Vishal, Vikas, Huma, Tabassum. Macular stride is positive in which condition? Yes, Ankit, Praveen, Khetan, Shipra, Avi, Meena, Jiten, Dushyant. It is Borhav syndrome. Guys, spontaneous esophageal perforation. That is Borhav syndrome. It is positive in Borhav. Positive in Borhav syndrome. Clear? That is macular stride positive in Borhav syndrome. Next question. Tell me, treatment of choice for chronic or intractable duodenal ulcer? Treatment of choice for chronic or intractable duodenal ulcer. Tell me guys, waiting for your reply. <clears throat> yes. Ankit Gujar, you are correct. Yes. Waiting for your reply. Shivani Patel, very good. Vishal Roy, Jiten, Yadav. Yes. Majority of you are correct. What? It is highly selective agotomy. So, Treatment of choice, it is highly selective vagotomy. And if there is recurrent duodenal ulcer, then we go for truncal vagotomy. Next, very easy question. Most common metabolic complication after gastrectomy. Most common metabolic complication after gastrectomy. Tell me guys. Vikas, Uma, Rushali, Aparna, Ankit Gujar, first person. Jiten Yadav, second person. Yes, Shivani Patel. Yes. Avantika, Raina, Avi, Meena, majority of you are correct guys. Most common metabolic complication after gastrectomy, that is iron deficiency anemia. This is iron deficiency anemia. And whenever more than 50% of stomach is resected, patient is going to develop megaloblastic anemia. But overall, which one is most common? It is iron deficiency anemia. Next question, according to forest classification, non-bleeding visible vessel. Non-bleeding visible vessel, what is the type? Tell me guys. Non-bleeding visible vessel, what is the type? Dark Knight, Sushmita, Jiten Yadav, Bhargavi, Anu, Shivani Patel. Majority of you are correct guys. It is type 2A. Non-bleeding visible vessel, that is type 2A. Next question. What is the most common artery responsible for bleeding in Mallory V syndrome? Mallory V syndrome, the location is just below GE junction, that is cardia. So tell me most common artery responsible. <coughs> Mushahid Khan, Abhishek Kumar, Deepak, Ajit Meena, Uma, Sherin, Ashwini, 
आयुषी सचान क्षितिज पचौरी दीपक साहू प्रिया ऑल ऑफ यू करेक्ट गाइज इट इज़ लेफ्ट गैस्ट्रिक आर्टरी सो दिस इज वॉट ब्लीडिंग अकर्स फ्राम लेफ्ट गैस्ट्रिक आर्टरी सो देर इज लेफ्ट गैस्ट्रिक आर्टरी विच इज़ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्लीडिंग नेक्स्ट म्यूटेशन इन डिफ्यूज वेराइटी ऑफ कार्सिनोमा स्टमक अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई एन आई सी टी विच म्यूटेशन इज सीन इन डिफ्यूज वेराइटी ऑफ कार्सिनोमा स्टमक टेल मी गाइज येस विशाल रॉय कंपाइलो बैक्टर चैतन्य सी के श्रुति वृशाली निगार अंसारी इट इज ई कैथेरिन सो एक्चुअली देर इज डिक्रीज ई कैथेरिन डिक्रीज ई कैथेरिन इन डिफ्यूज वेराइटी नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन रूट ऑफ स्प्रेड इन क्रुक एंड बग ट्यूमर यू नो इन कार्सिनोमा स्टमक देर इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ बायोलेटल ओवरी दैट्स नोन एज क्रुक एंड बग ट्यूमर सो टेल मी गाइज मोस्ट कॉमन रूट ऑफ स्प्रेड इन क्रुक एंड बग ट्यूमर Yes, somebody is saying transcelomic, transperitoneal, transcelomic, transperitoneal. Let me see. Anu, Anu is the first person to reply correctly. Deepak Sahu, Deepak Sahu, very good. Yes, here you people are doing mistake. It is not transcelomic, transperitoneal. It is retrograde lymphatic. Highlight it. This is retrograde lymphatic. It's a question. This is most common is. retrograde means against the flow retrograde lymphatic spread clear guys so this is retrograde lymphatic what is the marker for gist tell me in most of the patient this marker is positive yes mujahid khan it is cd117 very good guys it is cd117 this is the marker apart from cd117 there are two new markers you know that what one is dog1 and the second is protein kinase c theta dog 1 and protein kinase c theta protein kinase c theta so dog dog 1 that is detected on just one in majority of cases cd117 is positive tell me guys what kind of diselectrolytemia is seen diselectrolytemia in ihps infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis what is the diselectrolytemia seen Yes, very good. There is hypokalemia, hypochloremia, metabolic alkalosis with paradoxical aciduria. So, what is reduced? Potassium is reduced. Hypokalemia. Chloride is reduced. Hypochloremia. H plus is reduced. Metabolic alkalosis with paradoxical aciduria. These patients have paradoxical aciduria. Paradoxical aciduria. Every year, this question is asked. so hypokalemia hypochloremia metabolic alkalosis with paradoxical aciduria next tell me what is the most common site of stress gastritis or stress ulcer most common site of stress gastritis or stress ulcer yes ankit gujjar very good dr sk <coughs> dr rajat divesh jiten yadav yes majority of you are correct guys it is fundus so most common site of stress ulcer it is fundus why because acid is being secreted by parietal cells and there is maximum concentration of parietal cells in the fundus if you keep moving away from fundus the incidence of stress gastritis keeps on decreasing next what is the diagnostic criteria for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis diagnostic criteria for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis you know there is monomicrobial growth means single organism is responsible monomicrobial growth and tell me what should be the neutrophil count on para synthesis how much should be the neutrophils gagan karna gagan karna very good jiten jitu shelbai kishor kumar yes neutrophils ankit more than 250 so neutrophils more than 250 per mm cube neutrophils more than 250 per mm cube very good guys so that's the diagnostic criteria for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis next treatment of choice for perforation peritonitis x ray is given patient is having nemo peritoneum what is the treatment of choice so treatment of choice for perforation peritonitis first resuscitation so we give what iv fluids and after giving iv fluids what we have to perform 
exploratory laparotomy. So first we give IV fluids and after that we have to perform what? Exploratory laparotomy. So it is IV fluids plus exploratory laparotomy. Next, tell me most common site of intraperitoneal abscess. Overall, most common site of intraperitoneal abscess. Compilobacter, MBBS made easy, tell me. Anu, very good. Anu, <coughs> overall, most common site of intraperitoneal abscess, this is pelvis. So, guys, it is pelvis. Clear? Next, triad of mesentic cyst. What is the name of triad? Positive in mesentic cyst. Triad. Kishore Kumar, Nigar Ansari, Shitis Pachauri. Shitis Pachauri, first person to reply. Abhishek Ankur, Compilobacter. It is Tilox triad. So, triad of mesentic cyst. What's the name? This is Tilox. It is Tilox triad. Clear guys? Next. Organ visualized to differentiate small bowel obstruction from large bowel obstruction during laparotomy. This was asked previously again in the AIMS. During intestinal obstruction, we open the abdomen. Which organ can easily differentiate small bowel obstruction from large bowel obstruction? Tell me guys. Shorya Raj, Shelbai, Sherin, Dr. Joy, Ayushi. Very good guys. It is cecum. Why cecum? Because if cecum is collapsed, it means there is obstruction proximal to cecum. Proximal to cecum means small intestinal obstruction. And if cecum is distended, it means obstruction is distal to cecum, means patient is having large bowel obstruction. So, which organ you have to visualize first? Cecum. Next, claw sign, coiled spring sign on barium enema. Claw sign, Coiled spring sign on barium enema. It is seen in Jitu Meena, Ayushi, Compilobacter. Yes, Vishal, Dr. Joy, all of you are correct, guys. This is into susception. It is seen in into susception. So, this is seen in into susception. Next, coffee bean sign and bent inner tube on x ray. Coffee bean sign. Yes, Vishal, Uma, Aparna Keshri. Hariharan, Ankit, everybody is correct what? It is sigmoid volvulus. So, coffee bean sign bent in a tube. It is seen in sigmoid volvulus. So, this is seen in sigmoid volvulus. Sigmoid volvulus. Next, most common ectopic mucosa. It was asked in latest exam. Most common ectopic mucosa in Meckel's diverticulum. Appu Hariharan, Siddharth, very good. So, it is actually gastric followed by pancreatic, followed by colonic. So, it is gastric, followed by pancreatic, followed by colonic. And how to remember? Mnemonic is GPC. Gastric, followed by pancreatic, followed by colonic. GPC. Next, in a latest exam, this question was asked, thickened and petulous IC valve with narrowed terminal ileum on barium meal follow through in GI tuberculosis is known as, what's the name? Name of this sign, thickened IC valve, petulous IC valve, yes, very good. Umbrella sign, also known as Fleischner sign, very good. Umbrella sign, also known as Fleischner sign. So, this is umbrella sign, also known as Fleischner sign. Fleischner sign. Clear guys? So, umbrella sign or Fleischner sign. Now, you tell me easiest question, what is the most common site of GI tuberculosis? Tell me guys. Dark Knight, Vishal Roy, first person to reply, G2, Salmonella, Shipra. Yes, very good. So, most common site of GI tuberculosis, that is ileocecal region. Ileocecal region or IC junction. It is ileocecal region. Next, investigation of choice for diagnosis of small bowel carcinoid. How you diagnose, how you are going to diagnose small bowel carcinoid? What you are going to assess in the urine? In the urine, what you are going to assess, guys, tell me. Investigation of choice for diagnosis for small bowel carcinoid. Yes. No, no, no. 
we have to assess something in the urine not vma not vma shorya raj mushahid khan shorya raj first person to reply correctly dr joy yes it is 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid so what it is 24 hours urinary estimation of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid so this is 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid clear guys next Tell me, investigation of choice for diagnosis of Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease, what's the investigation of choice for diagnosis? Investigation of choice, tell me. Yes, biopsy, obviously rectal biopsy. So we go for rectal biopsy. Next question, short tooth appearance on barium enema. Tell me guys, sawtooth appearance on bare minima, Shipra, Shorya Raj, yes, very good, Mushahid Khan, first person to reply, Priya, Dr. S.K. Neetu Singh, Appu, Rushali, Kishor Kumar, Ashwini, Dr. Joy, it is sawtooth appearance on bare minima, seen in colonic diverticulosis, this is seen in colonic diverticulosis. Tell me, what is the treatment of choice for familial adenomatous polyposis? For FAP, what is the treatment of choice? Nature with Medico. Anu Varul Islam. Tell me guys, what is the treatment of choice? It is not chemotherapy. Shorya Raj, you are correct. It is total proctocolectomy. So, what we perform? Total proctocolectomy plus ileal pouch anal anastomosis. So, this is total proctocolectomy plus ileal pouch anal anastomosis. Now, another question what kind of polyp is seen in pute Jagger syndrome? Type of polyp in pute Jagger syndrome it is having arborization, it is having pseudo invasion. Yes, Vishal Roy, Appu Hariharan, Ayushi Sachan, Dark Knight. Uma, Arati, Anu, it is hematomatous polyp, very good. What kind of polyp? This is hematomatous polyp. This is hematomatous polyp. It is hematomatous polyp, okay. Now tell me, what is the chemotherapy regimen for colorectal cancer? And chemotherapy regimen for colorectal cancer, yes, very good. It is Folfox 4. This is Folfox 4. Fol means folonic acid or leucovorin. F means 5 fluorouracil. Ox means oxaliplatin. So, folonic acid, leucovorin. F5 fluorouracil. Ox oxaliplatin. Next, tell me most common site of ischemic colitis. Tell me, guys. Ischemic colitis, most common cause, most common site. Yes, that is splenic flexure of colon. Very good. This is splenic flexure of colon okay accordion sign on cct is seen in accordion sign on cct very good ashwini accordion sign on cct uma correct compilobacter mushahid vikas arti dark knight yes pseudo membranous colitis so it is seen in pseudo membranous colitis so, it is seen in pseudo membranous colitis and you know that it is caused by which organism clostridium difficile. So, it is seen in pseudo membranous colitis organism is clostridium difficile. Next, what is the most common early complication of ileostomy? Yes, most common early complication of ileostomy. Tell me guys, this is ischemia or necrosis. Ischemia or necrosis. Next, tell me most common site of fistula, perforation and carcinoma in Crohn's disease. Waiting for your reply. Ayushi Sachan, Rushali, Ashim, Nature with Medico, all of you are correct. So, most common site of fistula, perforation, carcinoma in Crohn's disease, yes, ileum. And which part of ileum? It is terminal ileum. So, this is ileum. Next, tell me guys, most common complication in ulcerative colitis after total proctocolectomy plus 
ileal pouch anal anastomosis. Most common complication in ulcerative colitis after total protocolectomy plus IPAA, UMA, it is not leak, Arti Muragation, Arti, Ashim Mustak, very good, Ayushi Sachan, Dr. S.K. Divesh Sharma, yes, it is pouchitis, that is inflammation of pouch. So, this is inflammation of pouch known as pouchitis. Tell me, a pendicular lump is managed by which regime? What is the name of regime? A pendicular lump is managed by which regime? Dr. E. Farmer, Vishal, Dr. Joy, Oshner, Sharon regime. So, the name of regime, this is Oshner. Oshner, Sharon regime. Clear guys? It is Oshner, Sharon regime. Bleeding after appendectomy. This question was asked in INICT. After appendectomy, there is bleeding from which artery? So, it is controlled by ligation of which artery? Yes. So, you know appendicular artery, it is a branch of ileocolic artery. So, after appendectomy, if there is bleeding, I have to ligate ileocolic artery. So, bleeding after appendectomy is controlled by ligation of ileocolic artery. This is ileocolic artery. Clear guys? Next, most common complication of hemorrhoidectomy. After hemorrhoidectomy, what is the most common complication? Shipra, Kishore Kumar, Dr. E. Farmer, very good Dr. E. Farmer, Dr. Jitu Meena. Yes, it is pain followed by urinary retention. So, what is the complication? This is pain followed by urinary retention. So, this is pain followed by urinary retention. Most common complication after hemorrhoidectomy. Next, what kind of rectopexy is preferred in elderly and frail patient? Abdominal rectopexy or perineal rectopexy? Which type of rectopexy? Very good Abhishek Ankur. Abdominal or perineal? Vishal, Shruti, SK, Sarvesh Dube, Ayushi Sachan, all of you are correct. Which one? Perineal rectopexy. So, we prefer which one? We prefer perineal rectopexy. Which one? Perineal rectopexy. Very good guys, perineal. Very good. After that, what is the most common type of fistula in Eno? Barad. Very good. Kishore Kumar. Most common type of fistula in Eno. Tell me. <clears throat> Waiting for your reply. Yes, intersphincteric. Very good, Dr. Shri. It is intersphincteric. This is intersphincteric. And you know, this intersphincteric fistula, it is also known as type 1. So, intersphincteric, which is known as type 1. Next, what is the most common site of fissure in Eno? And it is posteriorly in the midline. Fissure in Eno, it is posteriorly in the midline. Guys, you tell me, at which o'clock position? Posteriorly in the midline, Vishal, Muhammad, Suleiman, Appu, Hariharan, Shruti, it is at 6 o'clock position. Posterior in the midline or 6 o'clock position. Next, if patient is having resectable tumor in rectum, location 6 cm from anal verge, it is treated by. So, you have sufficient margin, you can easily take 2 cm margin. So, what is the treatment? It is LAR. LAR means low anterior resection. What is the name? It is treated by low anterior resection. So, this is treated by low anterior resection. Clear guys? Next, tell me what is the treatment for of choice for carcinoma anal canal? Divesh, Vikas, Barad. Tell me treatment of choice for carcinoma anal canal. Anwarul Islam, Uma, Divesh Sharma, yes, we follow Nigro regimen. Here we go for Nigro regimen. And all of you know what are the components of Nigro regimen? We go for chemo radiation. So, this is chemotherapy followed by radiation. 
सो इन नाइग्रो रेजिमेंट वी गो फॉर कीमो रेडिएशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेस्ट टाइम फॉर प्लेटलेट ट्रांसफ्यूजन इन पेशेंट ऑफ स्प्रेनेक्टोमी फॉर आई टी पी आई टी पी पेशेंट इज देयर वॉट इज द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर प्लेटलेट ट्रांसफ्यूजन प्लेटलेट ट्रांसफ्यूजन I am not asking vaccination, platelet transfusion, just after ligation of spinning artery. Ankit Gujja, you are correct. It is after ligation of spinning artery. After ligation of spinning artery. Of spinning artery. Clear, guys? Tell me what is the most common complication of splenectomy. Simple question. Compilobacter Y. See, in patients of ITP, there is formation of autoantibody against platelet. Clear? Right? So, if you are giving platelets and it the platelet is going to reach the spleen, what will happen? It will be destroyed. So, the moment you are going to ligate splenic artery, after that, whatever platelet you are giving to the patient, it will not reach spleen. And if the platelet will not reach spleen, it will not get destroyed. That's why best time is after ligation of splenic artery. What is the most common complication? It is not OPSI, guys. It is not OPSI. It is what? Atelectasis. So, most common complication of splenectomy, that is atelectasis. This is atelectasis clear next mesh used for hernioplasty should be heavy weight or light weight having small pore or large pore let me see who is the genius over here mesh used for hernioplasty should be heavy weight light weight large pore small pore tell me yes very good light weight very good Large pore or small pore? Large pore. Jiten Yadav. Very good, Jiten. Very good. Yes, it should be lightweight, large pore. It should be lightweight and large pore. This is the again question of AIMS. So, it is expected in NEET PG, in INICT. It should be lightweight and large pore. Next, what is the gold standard treatment for inguinal hernia? All of you must be knowing. What's the name of that repair? Abhishek Anwarul Islam, Dr. Joy, Lichenstein repair. So, gold standard treatment, it is Lichenstein repair. This is Lichenstein repair. Clear, guys? Next, what is the content of triangle of doom? In triangle of doom, which major vessels are there which can be injured? Content of triangle of doom. Yes. Kanupriya, Bhunwal, Huma, all of you are correct guys. It is what? Iliac vessels. So, this is what? Iliac vessels. Next question. What is the most commonly injured nerve in laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair? Most commonly injured nerve in laparoscopic hernia repair. Ashim Mustak, it is the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. What's the name? This is lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Nerve of thigh. Now you tell me which type of hernia is there in which the posterior wall of sac is formed by viscera? Type of hernia in which posterior wall of sac is formed by viscera? Sarvesh Dube. Sarvesh, you are correct. It is sliding hernia, also known as hernia in glycid. So, this is sliding hernia, also known as hernia in glycid. Next question. In omphalocele, the abdominal content is covered inside by. Inside by. You know, it is covered by two layers, amnion and peritoneum. Inside by. Which layer? Ankit, Uma, SK, Vikas Raj. All of you are correct. It is covered by peritoneum inside. Peritoneum inside. So, how to remember? Pin. Peritoneum is in. Mnemonic is pin. That is peritoneum is in. Next, most common presentation of abdominal desmoid tumor. There is a desmoid tumor in abdomen. What is the most common presentation? Swarna, Nishu, first person to reply. Dr. Joy, 
डॉक्टर सिद्धार्थ कनुप्रिया अपू हरिहरन यस इट इज मास देर इज मास एबडामिनल मास सो मोस्ट कॉमन प्रजेंटेशन ऑफ एबडामिनल डेजमॉय ट्यूमर इट इज मास नेक्स्ट टेल मी गाइज वॉट इज द हार्डेस्ट रीनल स्टोन हार्डेस्ट रीनल स्टोन अंकित गुज्जर वेरी गुड उमा डॉक्टर एस के प्रिया ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट गाइज इट इज सिक्सटीन हार्डेस्ट स्टोन इट इज सिक्सटीन नेक्स्ट लोअर यूरेट्रिक स्टोन इफ द स्टोन इज इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ यूरेटर इट इज बेस्ट ट्रीटेड बाय लोअर यूरेट्रिक स्टोन इज बेस्ट ट्रीटेड बाय टेल मी डॉक्टर अंकित गुज्जर वेरी गुड मोहम्मद सुलीमान डॉक्टर जॉय इट इज यू आर एस यूरेट्रोस्कोपी इट इज बेस्ट ट्रीटेड बाय यूरेट्रोस्कोपी नेक्स्ट पुट्टी किडनी एंड सीमेंट किडनी ऑल ऑफ यू नो द एंसर पुट्टी किडनी एंड सीमेंट किडनी इट इज सीन इन येस वेरी गुड जेनाइटो यूरिनरी ट्यूबोकुलासिस पुट्टी किडनी एंड सीमेंट किडनी सीन इन जेनाइटो यूरिनरी ट्यूबोकुलासिस एवरीबडी इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट सी दिस इज लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन फीमेल विथ हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंटिन्यूअस ड्रिबलिंग ऑफ यूरिन विथ नॉर्मल वाइडिंग पैटर्न शी इज हैविंग कंटिन्यूअस ड्रिबलिंग ऑफ यूरिन विथ नॉर्मल वाइडिंग पैटर्न इट इज सीन इन विच कंडीशन Yes, let me see who's the genius over here. Genius person over here. Yes, dark night. Very good, dark night. First person. Sarvesh Dubey, second person. Doctor Joy, third person. It is ectopic ureteric orifice. What the ureter is attached or it is inserted into anterior urethra. So, in which condition it is ectopic ureteric orifice? This is ectopic ureteric orifice. so ectopic ureteric orifice next what is the most common cause of death in adpkd autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease most common cause of death dr bakna yes anwarul islam it is cardiovascular disorders very good this is cardiovascular disorders so it is cardiovascular disorders another latest question yes presence of fat absence of calcification on ct it is seen in which kidney tumor presence of fat absence of calcification muhammad suleiman joy shipra if there is presence of fat there is lipoma so this is angiomyolipoma angio myo lipoma so presence of fat absence of calcification on cct angio myo lipoma okay guys easy question adder head or cobra head appearance on ivp it is seen in which condition uma appu vishal roy uretrocele so adder head or cobra head appearance it is seen in which condition uretrocele so this is seen in which condition it is seen in uretrocele next tell me what is the primary bladder stone most common primary bladder stone friday 7 very good ritik agarwal jitu meena most common primary bladder stone tell me guys yes ankit gujjar vishal roy it is ammonium urate so what's the name it is ammonium urate and what is the most common secondary bladder stone that is uric acid next most this is this was asked in latest exam most common cause of bladder outlet obstruction in male neonate harika it is not puj obstruction yes dr siddharth sarvesh dubey very good siddharth and sarvesh it is what it is posterior urethral valve this is posterior urethral valve clear so in male neonate because exclusively it's an abnormality of male urethra next investigation of choice for diagnosis of bladder rupture tell me guys ashwini you are correct bakna umesh investigation of choice for diagnosis of bladder rupture shruti first person to reply 
it is CT cystography. We inject the dye in bladder, take the CT. So, that is CT cystography. Clear? It is CT cystography. Next, what is the most common site of carcinoma bladder? Tell me guys. Carcinoma bladder most common site. Friday 7, Neetu Singh, Harika Kuriti, Pradeep Kumar, Trigone. Which wall of Trigone Pradeep? Tell me. Which wall of Trigone? You are correct. It is posterior lateral wall of Trigone. So, what is the site? This is posterior lateral wall of Trigone. Posterior lateral wall of Trigone. Clear guys? Next question. Chemotherapy regimen for metastatic carcinoma bladder. Waiting for your reply. Chemotherapy regimen for metastatic carcinoma bladder. Ashim Mustak. It is no. Ankit Gujar. Yes. Sorin Patel. Yes. Dr. Joy. It is MWAC. Very good guys. This is MWAC. So, what is the full form? Methotrexate, vinblastin, adriamycin, cisplatin. It is methotrexate, agents are methotrexate, vinblastin, adriamycin, and cisplatin. Adriamycin and cisplatin. Clear? Another question, tell me guys, most important landmark in TURP. Divish Sharma, most important landmark in TURP. Ashim Mushtaq, first person to reply. Vishal Roy, you are correct. It is Veru Montenum. This is Veru Montenum. Clear guys? Veru Montenum. Okay. Next, what is the most common complication of TURP? Tell me. PSR 1317. Most common complication of TURP. Ankit Gujar, very good. Muhammad Suleiman, very good. LMWH, very good LMWH. Dr. SK, it is retrograde ejaculation. Seen in 75% patients. Okay, guys. So, this is retrograde ejaculation and it is seen in 75% of patients. Retrograde ejaculation. Next, most common site of carcinoma prostate. Tell me which zone? Carcinoma prostate most common site which zone? Tell me guys. Friday 7, Dr. Joy. Dr. Joy, it is posterior lobe. Which zone I am asking? Appu Hariharan, you are correct. The lobe is posterior and the zone is peripheral. So, which zone? It is peripheral zone. This is which zone? This is peripheral zone. So, this is peripheral zone. Clear guys? Next. Tell me, correct order of hypospadias repair? This is the hot question. This is a hot question. In most of the exam, this is being asked. So, how to remember correct order of hypospadias repair? Mnemonic is do your meatoplasty with GPS. You have to write this. Do your meatoplasty with GPS. All of you have to write so that you are not going to do this mistake. So, what are the components D? D means degloving. First, we have to perform degloving. After that, O. O means straightening, that is orthoplasty. O, orthoplasty. U, R. Urethroplasty. Urethroplasty. After urethroplasty, what? Meatoplasty. After meatoplasty, G. Glanuloplasty. Glanuloplasty. After that, P. Pinoplasty. After that, S. Scrotoplasty. Pinoplasty, scrotoplasty. Clear? Guys, this question was asked first in Jipmer. Later, it was repeated in Ames and INICT. So, how to remember? Do your meatoplasty with GPS. Degloving. What? Degloving. Orthoplasty. Urethroplasty. Meatoplasty. Glanuloplasty, pinoplasty, scrotoplasty. So, this is the sequence of repair you have to remember. This is very, very important. Dr. Siddharth, you are correct. Very good. Now, see gold standard treatment for urethral injury. Tell me, guys, what is the gold standard treatment for urethral injury? 
Tell me. Gold standard treatment? Simple. In all patients of urethral injury, what is the gold standard treatment? No, no, no. Just after injury, what we do? Yes, no, no. Treatment I'm asking, I'm not asking investigation. Sorin? No. Let me see. Vikas Raj is the first person to reply correctly. After that, dark night. It is SPC, suprapubic cystostomy. And after that, we perform delayed repair after three months. Clear, guys? So, it is suprapubic cystostomy. Next, tell me, circumcision is it sufficient for carcinoma penis located at? Circumcision, sufficient for carcinoma penis located at? Located at? Yes, let me see who is the first person to reply. Located at? <clears throat> exact site. Uma, tell me exact site. Sarvesh Dube, first person to reply. It is prepuce. Very good. So, if it is located at prepuce, we go for circumcision. Next, investigation of choice for non-palpable undescended testis. Non-palpable undescended testis. Tell me, guys. Yes. <clears throat> Non-palpable undescended testis. It is not ultrasound. No. But Sarvesh Dubey again is the first person to reply. Very good, Sarvesh. What? It is diagnostic laparoscopy. It is diagnostic laparoscopy. If it is palpable, in that case, we go for inguinal exploration. If it is non-palpable, we go for diagnostic laparoscopy. Next, surgical exploration in testicular torsion should be done within how many hours? Within how many hours? Bharat Vashtan. Surgical exploration in testicular torsion should be done within how many hours? Dr. S.K. Correct. Dr. Pasha. Dr. Yesashvi. See, in priapism, it is 6 hours. In testicular torsion, it is 4 hours. You have to remember, priapism, 6 hours. Testicular torsion, 4 hours. So, here it is 4 hours. Next, hydrocele of hernia sac should be treated by, let me see who is the genius over here. This was asked in AIMS only. Hydrocele of hernia sac, it should be treated by, tell me what is the treatment. Yes, Ashim Mushtaq, very good Ashim, first person to reply. Ashik Mushtaq, Uma, Dr. Joy, it is herniotomy because in hernia sac there is fluid collection. <coughs> so, it is treated by herniotomy. This is treated by herniotomy. Next, in varicocele, what is the location of pampiniform plexus of veins in relation to testes? Location of pampiniform plexus of veins in relation to testes. Tell me. Yes, Ankit Gujar, first person to reply, posterior and above testes. So, this is where exactly? This is posterior and above testes. This is posterior and above testis. Very good, guys. Shitis, Mustak, Sarvesh Dube. Tell me, treatment of choice for testicular tumor, which surgery is done? Treatment of choice for testicular tumor, which surgery is done? Huma, it is not herniotomy, testicular tumor. Uma, Yasashvi, very good. High inguinal orchidectomy. So, which surgery is done? We perform high we perform high inguinal orchidectomy. So, in high inguinal orchidectomy, we are going to ligate the cord close to deep ring. So, the cord is ligated close to deep ring. So, this is high inguinal orchidectomy. Next question. Tell me guys, most common symptom of peripheral arterial occlusion. <coughs> Huma, tell me. Peripheral arterial occlusion, most common symptom. Easiest question. Yes, Vikas, <coughs> Uma, Ankit, all of you are correct, guys. It is pain. Whenever peripheral arterial occlusion is there, it is pain. Next question, Lerich syndrome, in which there is erectile dysfunction. So, Lerich syndrome, it is obstruction of which particular part of aorta? Obstruction of which part of aorta? Where is the obstruction? 
एवटो आइलियक बाइफर्केशन वेरी गुड लेरिज सिंड्रोम इट इज ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वॉट एवटो आइलियक बाइफर्केशन ए आई बी दिस इज एवटो आइलियक बाइफर्केशन सो दिस इज एवटो आइलियक बाइफर्केशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज टेल मी दिस वॉज आस्ट इन अ लेटेस्ट एग्जाम मोस्ट कॉमन लेट साइन इन कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम लेट साइन इन कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम पैरालिसिस इज वर्स्ट प्रोग्नोसिस येस वेरी गुड उमा प्रियंका सोनी इट इज पल्सलेसनेस लेट साइन इट इज पल्सलेसनेस एंड विच वन पोर्टेंट्स वर्स्ट प्रोग्नोसिस पैरालिसिस लेट साइन इज पल्सलेसनेस वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ अक्वायर्ड एवी फिस्टुला टेल मी मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ अक्वायर्ड एवी फिस्टुला मेजोरिटी ऑफ एवी फिस्टुला आर कंजेनाइटल अक्वायर्ड एवी फिस्टुला डॉक्टर आफ्ताब पाशा फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई पेनीट्रेटिंग ट्रॉमा आफ्ताब पाशा करेक्ट इट इज पेनीट्रेटिंग ट्रॉमा पेनीट्रेटिंग ट्रॉमा एनदर क्वेश्चन कट ऑफ डायमीटर फॉर सर्जरी इन एबडामिनल एओटिक एन्यूरिज्म हाउ मच शुड बी द कट ऑफ डायमीटर एबडामिनल एओटिक एन्यूरिज्म कट ऑफ डायमीटर टेल मी गाइज दिवेश शर्मा फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई सर्वेश दुबे मेजोरिटी ऑफ यूर करेक्ट गाइज इट इज मोर देन इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर डायमीटर more than equal to 5.5 cm very good now tell me most common site of subclavian artery stenosis there is subclavian artery stenosis what is the most common site vikas pradeep kumar suprit singh khurana nil <coughs> kill nl kill kumar yes it is first part of left subclavian artery so which part it is the first part first part of left subclavian artery left subclavian artery clear guys next what is the best graft for cabg coronary artery bypass grafting tell me the best graft uma dr rj that's not the correct answer aftab pasha again aftab pasha is the first person to reply correctly it is lima left internal memory artery which artery left internal memory artery this is best graft and which is most commonly used graft most commonly used graft that is saphenous vein clear guys next what is the most common site of dvt all of you must be knowing most common site of dvt manish raj tell me loskaljo dr roh ananya pani gadhi सर्वेश दुबे काफ वेन और सोलियल वेन इट इज काफ वेन और सोलियल वेन वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन इट वॉज आस्ट इन नीट पी जी एन आई एन आई सी टी गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड ट्रीटमेंट फॉर वेरिकोज वेन टेल मी गाइज गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड ट्रीटमेंट सिद्धार्थ यू आर करेक्ट अंकित गुज्जर करेक्ट वेरी गुड आफ्ताब पाशा करेक्ट it is endothermal ablation this is what endothermal ablation so this is endothermal ablation clear so in that we perform radio frequency ablation we perform endovenous laser ablation tell me guys another question familial version of congenital lymphedema is known as what's the name of this disease yes ankit gujjar correct name of this disease appu hariharan very good this is milroy's disease what's the name this is milroy's disease clear guys it is milroy's disease next question what is the most common posterior mediastinal mass in the mediastinum there is a tumor what is the most common posterior mediastinal mass or tumor Vishal Roy, first person to reply. That is neurogenic. It is neurogenic. Thymoma is common in anterior mediastinum. So this is neurogenic tumor. 
नेक्स्ट सी गाइज दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन फैट ग्लोब्यूल्स इन स्पूटम एंड यूरिन आफ्टर रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट लीडिंग टू लॉन्ग बोन फ्रैक्चर इट इज सीन इन विच कंडीशन फैट ग्लोब्यूल्स इन स्पूटम यूरिन लॉन्ग बोन फ्रैक्चर विच इम्बॉलिज्म यस फैट इम्बॉलिज्म जिग्नेश जिग्नेश श्रुति सुप्रीत सिंह कटारी खुराना फ्राइडे सेवन ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट गाइज दिस इज फैट इम्बॉलिज्म दिस इज फैट इम्बॉलिज्म देर इज एनदर क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ट नाउ डे इज रिलेटेड टू फॉरन बॉडी कॉइन सो इफ कॉइन इज देयर एंड यू परफॉर्म चेस्ट एक्सरे पी ए व्यू विच सर्फेस इज सीन फ्लैट सर्फेस ऑफ कॉइन ऑन पी ए व्यू टेल मी वेर इज द कॉइन अंकित विशाल सर्वेश अनिल डांगी सुप्रीत प्रियंका सोनी चैतन्या क्षितिज केटकी विचारे एवरीबडी इज करेक्ट ईसोफेगस कॉइन इज इन ईसोफेगस सो वेन एवर पेशेंट इज हैविंग डिस्फेजिया ऑन द पी ए व्यू देर इज फ्लैट सर्फेस ऑफ कॉइन ऑन लैटरल व्यू एज ऑफ कॉइन इट इज इन ईसोफेगस एंड इफ इट इज इन ट्रेकिया पेशेंट इज हैविंग डिस्निया ऑन पी ए व्यू यू कैन सी एज ऑन लैटरल व्यू यू कैन सी फ्लैट सर्फेस नेक्स्ट मोस्ट कॉमन सिम्टम ऑफ कार्सिनोमा लंग टेल मी गाइज कार्सिनोमा लंग लेट मी सी हु इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई आशिम मुश्ताक उमा वेरी गुड शीत इज विशाल रॉय ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट इट इज कॉफ कॉफ फॉलोड बाई डी सी एच फॉलोड बाई डी सी एच डी सी एच मीन्स डिशनिया चेस्ट पेन हिमोप्टिस कॉफ फॉलोड बाई डी सी एच डिश डिशनिया चेस्ट पेन हिमोप्टिस क्लियर गाइज नेक्स्ट टेल मी दिस इज लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन टाइप ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन मोर कॉमन इन स्प्लिट थिकनेस स्किन ग्राफ्टिंग प्राइमरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन और सेकेंडरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन टेल मी टाइप ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन मोर कॉमन इन स्प्लिट थिकनेस स्किन ग्राफ्टिंग इट इज प्राइमरी और सेकेंडरी सिद्धार्थ वेरी गुड इट इज सेकेंडरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन वेरी गुड गाइज सो दिस इज सेकेंडरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन दिस इज सेकेंडरी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन नेक्स्ट हाउ मच शुड बी द मिनिमम यूरिन आउटपुट आफ्टर एडिक्वेट टिश्यू परफ्यूजन इन एडल्ट How much per ml per minute? You know it is one ml per minute. And in children, it is point five to one ml per minute. Okay. Next, layer involved in blister formation in superficial partial thickness burn. Tell me, there is blister formation. Which layer is involved apart from epidermis in superficial partial thickness burn? Pemba Lama, Chaitanya Jain, Vishal Roy. केतकी विचारे वेरी गुड श्रुति श्रुति इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई करेक्टली इट इज पैपिलरी डर्मिस विच लेयर दिस इज पैपिलरी डर्मिस क्लियर गाइज नेक्स्ट स्किन मैलिग्नेंसी कैरेक्टराइज बाई ए बी सी डी ई टेल मी विच स्किन मैलिग्नेंसी कैरेक्टराइज बाई ए बी सी डी ई Vishal Roy, first person to reply correctly. It is malignant melanoma. This is malignant melanoma. And guys, you know what is A B C D E? A, asymmetry. B, border irregularity. C, color variation. D, change in diameter or diameter more than six mm. And E, evolution in shape, size, color. So this is A B C D E. Now tell me, investigation of choice for diagnosis of marjolin sulcer which arises from burn scar it is low grade squamous cell carcinoma tell me investigation of choice appu hariharan yes wedge biopsy so this is biopsy next question guys stage of pressure ulcer in which there is full thickness skin loss extending into subcutaneous tissue 1 2 3 4 which stage <coughs> Full thickness skin loss extending into subcutaneous tissue. Which stage? Ankit Gujjar, Ashim Mustak, R J, Shoury Raj, Jinesh. Everybody is correct. This is stage three. And if there is muscle or bone which is visible, that is stage four. Next, how much negative pressure is used in vacuum assisted closure? Tell me. Negative pressure used in vacuum assisted closure. Tell me, guys. Negative pressure used 
in vacuum assisted closure first person to reply dr joy dr appu hariharan how much minus 125 mmhg so minus 125 mmhg very good next tell me subdural hematoma is caused by injury of waiting for your reply subdural hematoma is caused by injury of shruti correct no no bhargavi it is not middle meningeal artery first person appu hariharan cortical or bridging veins it is caused by injury of cortical cortical or bridging veins so this is caused by injury of cortical or bridging veins abhishek kumar correct worst headache of life it is seen in which condition patient is described as worst headache of life sarvesh dubey shore raj it is seen in sub arachnoid hemorrhage worst headache of life next a patient was brought to your emergency patient is unconscious gcs is 3 but ct is normal unconscious patient gcs is 3 nccct is normal tell me the correct answer vishal roy first person to reply it is correct characterized by <coughs> diffuse axonal injury so in diffuse axonal injury what happens ct is normal nccct is normal here investigation of choice it is mri it is having poor prognosis next most common type of astrocytoma in children dr ketki vichare very good ketki it is pilocytic astrocytoma this is pilocytic most common type of astrocytoma in children shit is very good dural tail sign sunray spicules are seen in which brain tumor dural tail sign sunray spicules abhishek ankur is the first person to reply vishal roy meningioma dural tail sign sunray spicules these are seen in meningioma tell me guys what is the most common brain tumor simplest question most common brain tumor yes secondary sarvesh dubey first person to reply it is secondary or metastasis so secondary or metastasis next question patient is having brain tumor in which there is central necrosis and ring like enhancement what is this tumor central necrosis and ring like enhancement let me see first person to reply central necrosis with ring like enhancement ankit gujjar dark night very good it is glioblastoma multiforme so this is what this is glioblastoma multiforme so this is glioblastoma multiforme clear central necrosis with ring like enhancement clear guys next tell me what is the most common flap used for reconstruction of head and neck defects most common flap used for reconstruction of head and neck defects tell me guys yes vishal roy you are correct no 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 badu joshi let me see very good first person swarna nishu swarna nishu it is pmmc flap pectoralis major myocutaneous flap this is pectoralis major myocutaneous flap it is based on pectoral branches of thoracoacromial vessel next abe eastlanders flap it is for lip based on which artery superior labial or inferior labial abe eastlanders flap is based on which artery superior labial or inferior labial vishal roy first person to reply superior labial it is based on superior labial artery next question all of you know salivary gland tumor in which there is perineural invasion easiest question asked frequently in pathology salivary gland tumor with perineural invasion no let me see who is the first person to reply yes suprit singh khurana suprit singh khurana you are correct this is adenoid cystic carcinoma it's the most common malignant tumor of minor salivary gland 
so this is adenoid cystic carcinoma clear next what is the most common site of salivary gland stone silolithiasis tell me most common site of salivary gland stone silolithiasis tell me guys yes sure raj first person to reply which gland it is sub mandibular gland that is which gland it is sub mandibular gland very good now ranula it is related to salivary gland which salivary gland ranula is related to ranula it is related to which salivary gland yes vishal roy first person shitis pachauri second person it is sub lingual gland which gland this is sub lingual gland so this is sublingual gland guys now tell me liar sign on angiography it is seen in which tumor liar sign on angiography it is seen in which tumor sarvesh dubey first person to reply carotid body tumor also known as chemodectoma so this is carotid body tumor or chemodectoma carotid body tumor which is also known as chemodectoma now tell me guys what is the most common site of cystic hygroma most common site of cystic hygroma tell me yes jignesh wankar jignesh wankar first person to reply this is posterior triangle jignesh wankar this is posterior triangle very good majority of you are correct it is posterior triangle next what is the most commonly injured nerve in sentinel lymph node biopsy of breast cancer during sentinel lymph node biopsy of breast cancer which nerve is injured let me see who is the first person to reply yes first person is ankit gujjar very good it is intercostal brachial nerve what's the name this is intercostal brachial nerve majority of you are correct guys this is intercostal brachial nerve tell me most common retroperitoneal sarcoma this was asked in latest exam in retroperitoneum what is the most common type of sarcoma let me see the first person who is going to reply dr joy is the first person and what is the correct answer liposarcoma this is liposarcoma next investigation of choice for diagnosis of thai sarcoma usually in sarcoma tell me what is the investigation of choice tell me guys investigation of choice for thai sarcoma yes rj it's biopsy very good it is we go for what we go for biopsy so this is biopsy what is the type of graft in identical twins if one twin gives the graft to another one type of grafting in identical twins tell me type of grafting in identical twins first person to reply appu yes it is isograft this is what isograft okay guys now tell me what is the most common indication of liver transplantation in children most common indication of pediatric liver transplantation yes biliary atresia vishal roy very good it is biliary atresia this is biliary atresia very good vishal now tell me guys best location of needle insertion in tension pneumothorax in adults so where we insert the needle in tension pneumothorax in adults let me see first person to reply which intercostal space uma ashim very good fifth intercostal space in axillary anterior axillary line so we insert the needle in fifth intercostal space in anterior axillary line anterior axillary line tell me best predictor of outcome in gcs glasgow coma scale best predictor of outcome tell me guys best predictor of outcome dr rj yes rj first person to reply it's the best motor response so it's the motor response clear tell me 
वॉट इज द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पीपल मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पीपल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लॉग रोल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ बैक मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पीपल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लॉग रोल सुप्रीत सिंह खुराना फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई फोर फोर पीपल एंड आइडियल नंबर ऑफ पीपल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लॉग रोल फाइव मिनिमम नंबर फोर आइडियल नंबर फाइव वॉट इज द फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन डन इन ब्लड ट्रोमा एबडाम पेशेंट टेल मी गाइज फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन डन इन ब्लड ट्रोमा एबडाम येस डॉक्टर आर जे विशाल रॉय इट इज फास्ट दिस इज फास्ट फोकस्ड असेसमेंट विथ सोनोग्राफी फॉर ट्रॉमा एंड द क्वेश्चन गाइज टेल मी ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस फॉर फ्लेल चेस्ट विथ रेस्पिरेटरी फेलियर patient is having flail chest with respiratory failure what is the treatment of choice let me see the first person to reply vishal roy it is sarvesh dubey who is the correct person first person to reply intermittent positive pressure ventilation this is intermittent positive pressure ventilation okay another question according to trauma transfusion protocol what should be the ratio of packed cell plasma and platelets according to trauma transfusion protocol tell me harpreet kaur is the first person to reply 1 is to 1 is to 1 so it is 1 is to 1 is to 1 majority of you are correct guys next what is the needle used for creating nemoperitoneum tell me name of needle used for creating nemoperitoneum let me see who is the first person to reply yes dr rj viris needle very good dr rj it is viris needle so this is what this is viris needle clear what is the name of suture used for subcuticular suturing tell me for subcuticular suturing which suture suprit singh khurana first person to reply monocryl also known as polyglycoprone this is monocryl also known as polyglycoprone polyglycoprone next tell me guys suture used for vascular anastomosis suture used for vascular anastomosis yes very good proline anil dangi dark knight it is proline so suture used for vascular anastomosis that is proline very good guys very good next according to jenkins rule suture length to wound length ratio should be according to jenkins rule suture length to wound length ratio should be dark knight you are correct it is 4 is to 1 suture length to wound length it should be 4 is to 1 name of this rule this is jenkins rule name it is jenkins rule next whenever you are suturing the angle of needle with skin what should be the angle of needle with skin for interrupted sutures suprit singh khurana shipra two guys with re fast reply 90 degree angle of needle with skin for interrupted suturing 90 degree next best time to give prophylactic antibiotics during surgery yes सर्वेश दुबे ईदर एट इंडक्शन ऑफ एनेस्थीसिया और एट लीस्ट वन आर बिफोर इंसीजन सो एट द टाइम ऑफ इंडक्शन और वन आर बिफोर सर्जरी और इंसीजन वन आर बिफोर सर्जरी और इंसीजन बिफोर इंसीजन क्लियर देर इज अ न्यू क्वेश्चन टेल मी In day care surgery, what is the most common cause of post-operative admission? After admission, after discharge, again patient is coming. So, most common cause of post-operative admission in day care procedure. Yes, Sarvesh Dube, first person to reply correctly. It is pain followed by hemorrhage followed by urinary retention. So, guys, you have to remember it's a question of INICT. It is pain followed by urinary retention urinary retention followed by it is pain followed by hemorrhage followed by urinary retention clear 
सो पेन फॉलोड बाय हेमरेज फॉलोड बाय यूरिनरी रिटेंशन क्लियर सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इज अ न्यू क्वेश्चन आफ्टर दैट प्रिफर्ड वेन फॉर टोटल पेरेंटल न्यूट्रिशन प्रिफर्ड वेन फॉर टोटल पेरेंटल न्यूट्रिशन टेल मी गाइज Preferred vein. Very good. First person to reply, Ankit Gujar. It is subclavian vein, followed by internal jugular vein, followed by femoral vein. Subclavian vein followed by internal jugular vein followed by femoral vein. Next, how much blood is lost in class two hemorrhagic shock? Amount of blood loss in class two hemorrhagic shock. Let me see who is going to reply. first person to reply yes dr joy is the first person how much 15 to 30 percent in class 1 0 to 15 percent class 2 15 to 30 class 3 30 to 40 and class 4 more than 40 next type of shock in which there is hypotension and bradycardia in this case there is loss of sympathetic tone that's why there is bradycardia these patients are having warm peripheries tell me न्यूरोजेनिक सर्वेश दुबे वेरी गुड सर्वेश सर्वेश वेरी गुड सर्वेश इट इज न्यूरोजेनिक शॉक न्यूरोजेनिक क्लियर गाइस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इन सर्जरी टू क्वेश्चंस आर आस्ट अ पेशेंट ऑफ रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट वाज ब्रॉट टू योर इमरजेंसी पेशेंट इज हैविंग हाइपोटेंशन विथ ब्रेडी कार्डिया न्यूरोजेनिक शॉक हाइपोटेंशन विथ टेकी कार्डिया देर इज हाइपोवोलिमिक शॉक There is bradycardia with warm peripheries, neurogenic shock. Tachycardia with cold peripheries, that is hypovolemic shock. Clear? Tell me, instrument used for harvesting skin graft. Yes, you people are replying in advance. Very good, Badu Joshi. All of you are correct, guys. This is Humbi knife. Humbi knife. Tell me, Romovac drain. It is a type of which drain? Closed suction drain. Closed suction drain. So Romovac drain is a closed suction drain. Clear, guys? F in sixteen French Foley's catheter represents internal diameter or outer external diameter, inner diameter or outer diameter. Tell me. Outer diameter. All of you are correct. It is outer diameter. Clear? And you must be knowing the formula. Outer diameter is equal to French divided by three. Tell me. Tell me, nasogastric tube length is measured by nasogastric tube length is measured by nex, nose, ear lobule, xiphoid process. So it is measured by nex. This is nose, ear lobule, xiphoid process. Another question, ICD tube functioning is monitored by. How you monitor ICD tube functioning? Yes, ICD tube functioning is monitored by. Yeah, waiting for your reply. Pooja Khandelwal, movement of air column. Sarvesh Dubey, so column movement. There is air water column, so it's the column movement. By the column movement, we are going to monitor the ICD tube functioning. Clear, guys? So these are hundred plus. These were hundred plus one liners. It was based on INICT and NEET PG. This was highly interactive crowd. Thank you very much, guys. Shubham, Ankit, Bhargavi, Priya, Dr. Manish, all of you were fabulous. Majority of you are marking correct answer, guys. So no break because the session is over. Thank you very much. Thanks and best of luck for exams. Best of luck. Have patience. Have faith in God. And go for the exam. Give you a hundred percent. Definitely, you are going to crack this exam with flying colors. Good luck, guys.